I'm a chemist. I love scientific method. I always have. And when I worked for the drug industry, science was completely abandoned. These drug companies that I, was, that I was interviewing with had no problem telling me, look, we design drugs based on treating symptoms. We don't cure. So that's a business model, okay, that allows you to give a drug to a person for life. They ran out of symptoms to treat. So what did they have to do? The next level of drug advertising is inventing disease. When you run out of symptoms, you don't have any more clientele to market to. So you have to invent disease. And with psychiatric medications, you can invent diseases all day long. There's two words that a psychiatrist fears. Two words. Prove it. And if the doctor can't do it nine times out of ten they can't, then don't take the drug. That puts the patient in the position of power. I wondered, as a chemist, I'm making these drugs, they're proving deadly in our labs, and they're proving deadly in other labs, dangerous, ineffective, causing the exact same thing they're supposed to treat. How are they selling them? How are they selling them? And they have the marketing department. Big Pharma has the best marketing department in the world. Geniuses. You simply pay professionals, doctors, professors, psychiatrists, to report that the study showed positive results. You're paying them. You're buying science, checkbook science. At least 125,000 people dying every year from prescription drugs, you would think that you'd spend more in research to try to offset the death toll. No. Keep going with marketing. Market, market, market. Hypnotize the masses. Hypnotize them and drug them and get them into their psychiatrist so they can swallow the next Cymbalta or the next Prozac or whatever they're going to package it as and name it as. You have a billion dollar industry making a lot of people sick and profiting on it.